Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and today I'm with Greg from Greg's Wildlife. Hello. <laughs> um, we have come to Sheringham Park on the Norfolk coast because I've been given a tip that there is a pond here full of smooth newts. Now at the moment it's raining outside but the second it stops we're going to make a dash for it and go see if we can't find any. I've got an endoscope with me so I could do some underwater filming as well. Hopefully there's some amphibians about. Hopefully we'll see some. Let's do this. Well, the rain hasn't eased up, but we've decided to come over and take a look in the pond anyway. Straight away, we can see lots and lots of frogs spawn out on the surface and some newts beneath the water. So let's get in there and let's take a look beneath the surface. For a fairly small pond, this place was absolutely full of newts. From above, I counted more than 50 in just the margins on one side. These are common or smooth newts. They grow to a length of 11 centimetres and are the most common species of newt in the UK. This one is a male. You can tell this by the bumpy crest along its back and tail and the orange and blue colouring beneath. Smooth newts are sometimes mistaken for great crested newts, but these are quite a bit bigger, darker in colour and also much rarer. Alongside the newts and frogs, there are also quite a few common toads in the pond. This fearless newt takes a closer look at them. It's a tense moment, but in reality, beneath the surface the toads don't pose a threat to it, although on land, this isn't always the case. These toads have come to the pond to breed, but that isn't always straightforward with so many other amphibians around. Here a pair of toads and amplexus have been interjected by an amorous male common frog. Unfortunately for them, he is preventing the male toad from fertilising the two strings of eggs that are being laid, and these eggs will not develop. Sometimes many males will grab hold of a single female, and this can often result in them drowning. One of the reasons that amphibians lay so many eggs is because lots of them will not survive to adulthood and that is definitely the case for the frogs that have decided to spawn in this pond. You can see here how the newts have gathered around the spawn and if you watch closely you can see that some of them are trying to eat the black eggs within. For the newts this is a great source of nutrition which is just what they need right now. Just like most of the frogs and all of the toads, these newts would have spent the winter on land and have came back to the pond to breed. When they're on land, the male newts do not have their crest and this slowly gets bigger as they spend more time in the water. You can see how the male on the left has a much larger crest than the others. He was probably one of the first back to the water and currently has the best chance of impressing a female. When the males find a female who lacks the crest and colourful markings, they follow her. The male on the left turns his body side on and uses his large tail to waft pheromones in her direction. This is to try to encourage her to mate with him, but with so many hot males in pursuit, she can afford to be picky. The rest of smooth newt breeding behaviour is complex, and I will cover this completely in a future video. Well, the rain's getting a bit too much now, so we're going to make a move. But if you have enjoyed this video, then pop over to Greg's channel, because he's also making a video from today, and he's also been doing a season about watching frog tadpoles develop. So I'll leave a link for his channel in the description. Check that out. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of the other British wildlife videos that you'll find there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.